I gave you one question to anybody in this, what would be the question and who would you ask it to? Well, see, I practiced law, so I know how to take one question and turn it into 10. <laughs> there are subparts, Dan, to the question. I actually just sent a list of nine questions to the NFL about Tua from Sunday. I'm also curious, was he examined again after the game on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, or was it just, hey, he's good to go. He's back in the game. We're not going to revisit this at all. But I'm curious about the unaffiliated neurotrauma consultant, because they recognized back in 2009 or so, we can't just rely on the team doctor to make a reliable decision because the team doctor is under the financial thumb of the team. And we've heard about that for years. The doctors do what they have to do to continue to be the team doctors. They'll eventually find a doctor that gets their players back on the field. But Dan, just because this other person isn't affiliated with the team, they're still affiliated with the league. And is it really in the league's best interest to have the best players not available for the best games? There's still a subtle bias there. It's one step removed from working for the team, but the league still wants the best players out there. Mm -hmm. The league wants maximum interest, maximum eyeballs, maximum dollars. So I'm not so sure this unaffiliated neurotrauma consultant is truly independent. And the question I have, are we at a point where there needs to be someone who is truly disconnected from the NFL? And they'll hate that. They won't want it. They, they want to control everything. But maybe we need somebody who's truly independent, who looks out for the best interest of the players and not the team or the broader league that wants those players on the field. 